Hey everybody, Liz here. Now we're going to go way off the chain today. We're going to talk about Hindu and you Buddhist mantras and how to use them to manifest. Very, very fun if it appeals to you. I've done a video before on mantras and yantras and sigils and things like that. But I'm going to talk to you about a specific kind that will attract both money and love because it seems to be what most people want. And I'm going to explain a little bit about mantras and how to use them. I'm going to refer you to Dr. Palai and the Palai Center and other yogic philosophers. You can feel free to research on your own. I'm going to explain how to pray with mala beads or whatever beads you have. This is just a bracelet. I don't know where my mala beads are. <laughs> so the idea is uh, the mantra can be a nonsense word or can be a word referring to, to sweetly referring or honoring a god or something like that. Like om is actually the primordial sound. I have a tattooed on my body. It's a primordial sound uh, indicating like primordial creation or the sound of creation. It's the white noise of creation, if you will. And then uh, sometimes when in a chant, we'll say namaha or namaskar. That's another greeting, a salutation. It's actually related to namaste. So many, in, especially in Ashtanga yoga, they'll say namaskar or nama, namaha. So a lot of times in the mantras, you're saying sweet things. Also, shri or shreem is an honorific title. But a lot of the, in Brzee, we're going to go over it. Brzee is a sweet name for Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the goddess of abundance and luck. Now, do you have to become Hindu or follow yoga philosophy or Buddhist philosophy? No. Do you have to become a pagan if you're not already? No. But understand that the mantras often refer to deities. If we in the West might call them angels, the Hindus or the yoga philosophers might call them devas. So an advanced being, if you will, that comes down to help mankind. So the mantra is to call on the name of the devas and, and you do it the reason you repeat it a lot of times, they like say 108 times. Uh, I'll talk about 108 in a second, but you, you, it's like following the breath and meditation. You're actually focusing on the mantra, which is sort of like walking a labyrinth with your mind and it focuses the mind over here. So you're actually, your subconscious can speak to spirit or universe or God to figure something out for you and bring something into a life event or a people or a situation into your awareness to solve your challenges. So the 108 is a very sacred number in both Hinduism, Jainism, and Buddhism. It's, it's a very fascinating number. Everything from Edgar Allan Poe had 108 lines to the raven. It's fascinating because there's 108 moon diameters between the moon and the earth. And there are 108 sun diameters between the earth and the sun. So astrologically, that's interesting. Uh, in many martial arts systems, there are 108 poses or moves. Uh, what else do I have? You have it written down. Oh, there's 108 Upanishads. That's some Hindu literature or yogic literature, all right? Uh, yeah, so there's some works out there talking about 108 questions of the Buddha. It's a very sacred number. In Sanskrit, which is a language that is a holy language for uh, yogic philosophers and practitioners of yoga, and um, that's not necessarily what they speak day to day, but when they're speaking spiritual language, they use Sanskrit, when they, uh, Hindus. <laughs> and... I'm not an expert, but I studied it a great deal in 2023, all this stuff. Uh, Sanskrit has 54 letters if you count the masculine and feminine version of each letter. The letters hang from the top line. That's why it looks so odd when you look at it. When you double 54, you get 108. And in, in yoga on New Year's Day or now on Yoga Day, we'll do 108 sun salutations. It's a very sacred number. And so when you're doing a mantra, this way, the standard is you do it to 108 times. Now you can get $8 mala beads off of Amazon or, or Alibaba or something like that. And do the, I don't know where mine are, so I'm gonna sample it with a bracelet. But when you do a mantra, you would say the mantra, let's say you're doing Shreem Brzee. I'll talk about that in a minute. Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee. There's a special way to hold it like this. Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee, Shreem Brzee. But it's not, you don't have to be picky about it. But if you're gonna be a pure mala bead purist, there's ways to pull them over your top finger. And then in the mala beads, there's a top bead and it goes by, there's the guru bead. There's a lot of names for that. The top bead, you're not supposed to go over that. You're supposed to turn the beads around. Anyway, I did have a video on that. I'll try to remember to link it below. So I want to talk to you about uh, Kaleem and Shreem Brzee. So Dr. Palai has been bothered by some who think that he shouldn't have developed his own Shreem Brzee mantra. Uh, I see him as a very wise being. And if you can go to the Pillai Center and study some of his work, you can decide if it's if he's legit or not. I find him very legit. I think if the ancients came home, came out with mantras, why can't Dr. Pillai? Why can't you? Why can't I? 
Uh, but the longer you do mantras, they have a thought form and personal power around them. It's like if someone's a Christian and they pray the rosary, the rosary has been prayed for 2000 years or more. And so that has a lot of power, whether or not you want to be Catholic, but the rosary has a lot of power in it. Those prayers have been said over and over and over and over. So to say the standard ones, I understand are very powerful, but uh, Dr. Palai and his adherents have had a lot of success with um, his Shreem Brzee. So I wanted to point out, because if you look him up, people will probably debunk him a little bit, but it's up to you. You get to resonate with what you want to resonate with if you want to do this. I'm going to play a sample of something that I listen to now. So it's suggested that you uh, say a mantra or chant it or sing it or whisper it or say it quietly to yourself 100, 108 times. If you want to get powerful with it, you could do that times 10, which is 1,080 times. So you can find uh, YouTube content out there that, that goes up really fast, like shrimp, 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 or clean, 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 clean. All right. So you can do those as well. And they can fit in under 12 minutes. And it is a great way to focus your mind. And if you want to start meditating, it's a great way to just go. You don't even have to follow the breath. You just clean, 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 clean. Now, the reason I'm going to do these two today is, as I said earlier, most people come to me for love challenges and for money challenges. So I have one that's Om Klim Shreem Brzee Namaha. Om Klim Shreem Brzee Namaha. So Om refers to the primordial sound. It's like honoring the mantra and, and honoring the process and you're creating something. Clean refers to finding love, finding a partner or advancing the relationship of someone that you already have. Uh, it could be a specific person. It could be uh, having the universe find the right person for you. So clean, I like to use. And then Shreem Brzee, Shreem is that honorific title for Brzee, which is a nickname for Lakshmi. So, and if clean, if someone put in the comments, if clean represents something, I think it's a made up word. I think a lot of these words are just made up. And they have a lot of personal power. So with that said, I'm going to play this for you. I'm going to put the link because I'd love you to follow these people, the creators of these this music, and to follow them if you if you if this resonates with you at all. And I'll put links to the Palai Center, Dr. Palai, and everything. So I'm going to share screen and play that. And I think you'll enjoy it. Or you could, you know, do what you want today. <laughs> Let's play it. Shreem Vrizi Namaha Om Kreem Shreem Vrizi Namaha Om Kreem Shreem Vrizi Namaha Om Kreem Shreem Vrizi Namaha 
So what are the beads for? If you have beads and you don't have the music and you just need to chant, you just want to chant clean shreem brizi or clean om clean shreem brizi namaha, you can use it to count so you can get to 108 or you can do 50 or 54 or 10 or 20, whatever it is you're wanting to do. Uh, but also, even while I have the music, I find that it's almost like you're manifesting as you're touching the bead your subconscious mind, the energy in your fingers are kind of creating it, manifesting it into the beads. We do recommend that if you have uh, mala beads or something, it is a good idea to set aside one set of mala beads per your project, Om Kaleem Shreem Razi, or any other mantras that you want to research. I wanted to show this to you because if this kind of thing resonates with you, there's a whole world of mantra manifestation out there waiting for you to discover, not just Dr. Palai. I certainly don't know a ton of this stuff. So why would you do this instead of other kinds of manifestation that I teach? Well, if you're having a day and you just can't write your affirmations or you're just having, you can't write very well, maybe you have arthritis, um, you're feeling stuck, this could be another way. I would stick to it though. I wouldn't just do it once and just fling around the practice. I would pick it up for 21 days or 10 days or a month or 90 days, but just try it or you might want to add it to your practice. Uh, just an idea. So I just wanted to, you to explore this, experience it with me 
And um, this kind of thing you can listen to in the car. You don't have to get meditative about it and drive off the road, you know, and you can whisper it. You can do it silently to yourself. You can revere the people who are speaking it. You can sing it. And I, there's a Ganesh one that I really like. I'll have you link that one as well. But Meditative Mind, the people that do these, they do a really nice job. I'd love for you to go over and support them and say hi. I'm going to tell them that I put their video over here too. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this is another fun exploration for you. And um, maybe you'll listen to it. And if not, that is okay too, but I wanted to share stuff I know. Take care and have a good day.